Preventing the player platform from going off screen. First, we're going to create a cube and call it um, left boundary. Reset the transform. Um, change the scale to 2, 50, and 2. Put the position at minus 20. Copy the left boundary with Ctrl D and name the new one to right boundary. Change this one's position to X20. Now we play the game. The player platform will not be able to go through the boundaries but as you can see that it wiggles around to fix that click the player go to rigid body go to constraint and we're going to freeze the rotation as well as freeze the y and z position if we play hit play again it should be um it should be better now now for the explanation in the last part our player platform could go to the left and right edge of the screen we don't want to do that so we are going to stop the player from doing that first we create the another cube object um by right clicking on the add add cube window select 3d object and um select cube and then we change them we change the transform into this value it doesn't have to be this value obviously it's just that this is the value that i find um works the best for this context and then um we copy that to uh to make another one of it so what we actually want from here is the box collider component over here as you can see in the player the player also has a box collider component and the boundaries they also have one so box collider components will make the object be able to collide with each other so in this case the player platform will collide with the boundaries preventing it from going any further if you want you can actually um, just remove the cube and mesh renderer component to make the boundaries invisible to remove a component right click on the component that you want to remove and then click remove component remove both of them and then it will be gone and if you try playing it the collider will still be there but the cube is no longer over there you can press ctrl z um to undo we also had the trouble with the player um moving on its uh, moving on its own it was because of the rigid body when the player platform um collided with the boundaries the rigid body component calculated the physics that would affected on the player platform and it decided that the collision was enough to send the player platform rotating various directions to prevent that we uh we check the constraints on the player's rigid body so the freeze we check all three of the freeze rotation this means this rigid body can no longer uh rotate uh, it can still you can still rotate it manually, but the rigid body will uh, it, but the physics will not be able to rotate this particular um, play object. And then we freeze the position on the x and the y and z axis. This is because we don't want the player to be able to move up and down or front and back. We just want it to be able to move left and right 
And so we face the position on the y and z axis. The reason we don't um the reason we don't face the x axis is because we want to move the player um on the x axis using the rigid body dot set velocity that we did in the last video. If we freeze the freeze position on the x axis as well, the player will no longer move. As you can see, that is how you prevent the player from going off camera in this case, and that is how you use um, the box collide the box collider component in Unity. The box collider component is part of a collider component of a bigger collider component. The box collider component is not the only collider available for you. There are all. If you type on in collider in the add component search bar, you can see all of these colli available colliders that you can use. The most common that people use are box collider, capsule collider, and mesh collider. Capsule collider is a collider in the shape of a capsule. It is in use for um hum for players and humanoid enemies meanwhile the oh and uh, there's also the sphere collider which is yes a uh, sphere the mass collider takes the shape of um of an of, of a custom object so for example if you have a statue in the in the shape of a dog you can put the mass collider on the dog statue to make it's so that the collider will conform into the shape of the dock statue. The, col the collider component is very a very useful component that we will be touching on a lot more in the future. Another, thank you for watching. This is Beatle Kamama. Uh, good luck and awesome! Man.